Oh, I'm still recording. Whoops, my bad. Hey everybody, it's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm going to be making four cards. What ended up starting off as just making two cards ended up turning into four cards. Not exactly quite sure how that happened, but I think I went a little stamp crazy. And how could you not with such cute stamps? And today I'm combining the Ken Oliver um, powders, the ink burst, color burst, that's the name of it that I was trying to think of. The color burst powders with some watercolor paper and a couple of stamp sets from Lawn Fun. I'm trying to think of everything that I've used in these um, cards. So it took on a life of its own. I started off just by laying these colorful images out on the bare cardstock and it just, it, it looked too plain to me. I had an idea in my head and it just wasn't working. So I knew I needed to change it up and this star background paper I think works out perfectly. I don't mention it in the video, but just in case you're wondering, I used the um, Simon Says Stamp Stitched Rectangle Die for the star patterned paper. That's how I cut it out. I forgot to mention it. I was so into what I was doing in those cards at that moment, so forgot to tell you all about that. But anyways, let's go ahead and see how I put these cards together. To get started today, I'm going to be using some Ken Oliver Color Burst. I'm going to be using them in two different sets. So I have my warm set and then I have my cool set. Warm sets will work very well with each other since they are right next to each other on the color spectrum, color wheel. It is easy to blend them. I have to be careful though when I go to my cools because green and purple, if you mix those together, they end up making like a gray or brown. So I have to be careful whenever I'm mixing these. I need to make sure that the blue separates these two out. But I'll set those aside for now and I'll just be working with the warms. And I've gone ahead and cut a piece of, uh, this is Strathmore, no, what is this? This is, I have to look. Uh, this is Canson XL watercolor paper. This is the cold press. 140 pounds. It comes in 9 inches by 12 inches and I've cut it down to uh, 6 inches by I guess 9 inches. Yeah, 6 by 9 and I'm going to start off with this. Just get this wet. I've taped it down onto a board so that way I have uh, less warping and I don't have to worry about that as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush, kind of just get it wet, get it going and then I'm going to just drop some water onto my panel and get it all wet and then once I do that I'm actually going to take the um, Ken Oliver color burst powder and just start kind of playing with it so I'll probably put on some music and just uh, let the color do what it's supposed to do
All right, now that I've finished with these, uh, they came out quite amazing. I'm still learning how to use the um, color powder. It's uh, it's definitely a very wild beast and you never know what it's gonna do. That powder, because of the airflow in the room, was actually floating towards me. You may have seen that. Like, the blue ended up all over the place. The red ended up all over the place. But um, overall, I'm very happy with how this came out. I kind of stopped it because I like some of the formations that were happening and I think it'll fit very nicely with the stamp set. And then in the purple, there's some very intense color there. I don't know if it's gonna stay. Um, I actually probably will brush this with a paper towel just to make sure that uh, it's not gonna come up. Yeah, it, it's not coming off. It's pretty well on there, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my stamp sets. I'm using Lawn Fawn Out of This World and Lawn Fawn Be Me Up to uh, do a little bit of stamping with and we're gonna just stamp them over these shapes or I'm gonna stamp, st <laughs> let me try that again. I'm gonna stamp these shapes over some of the colored areas um, that I like and see if I can get some really cool basically patterns and looks for the backgrounds of these. All right, now that I have uh, gone ahead and die cut everything, I saved y'all a little bit of time by going ahead and doing this off camera. It took me much longer than anticipated to get all these cut up, so uh, I think they're gonna look great, but uh, it was definitely, definitely a little bit of a longer process than I had anticipated. So now uh, I've cut off extra strips of that cardstock that were left over, and I'm gonna use some sentiment stamps from these stamp sets. The one I currently have is from the Out of This World stamp set. And it says, today the world revolves around you, which is a great one for birthdays. I have this off camera a little bit because I'm actually using the edge of the mat as my ruler. It probably would be a great idea for me to get a um, lined mat, but yeah, this works just fine. I just apologize that it's off camera at the moment. I can't remember if I said this yet or not on today's video, but today I only used VersaFine Onyx Black ink for all of my stamping. Um, this is a pigment ink for fine details. I like this one a lot when I'm not doing Copic coloring because I get those finer details a lot more easily. So that's the ink that I used on all the stamping that you saw today. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be mixing my warms and my cools and I'm gonna go ahead and place them onto my card and glue them down. I have my sentiment strips as well, which I'll be figuring out how I want to place them, get all that going, and I'm using two types of card bases today. This is Nina Desert Storm 100 pound cardstock, and this is Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. So those are the two card bases that I'm gonna be using today.
So as you can see, it turned into a bigger project than I had anticipated. I think this is great because I'm always in need of birthday cards. And I think with this set, I have enough to cover four birthdays. Actually, this is this doesn't have to be a birthday card. This can be just a whatever card. Um, I do have the stamp sets, so I could stamp whatever I wanted to on the inside. It doesn't have to be birthday. It could be, I think there are um, some encouragement um, sentiments in the beam me up. So you could do all sorts of different things with this. And I like that it actually came out and made more cards than anticipated. It never hurts to have a couple of cards on hand for surprise birthdays or forgotten birthdays or anything like that. Um, so whenever you're getting into a groove with making cards, don't stop it. Keep going if you can. And that way you'll have extra cards ready to go for the next birthday or whatever occasion you're working on. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you like my video and then hopefully they'll share it across YouTube land. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the big red button down below that says subscribe. Make sure you also turn on your notifications by clicking that bell icon. Even if you have subscribed, you may not have turned on the notifications that tells you whenever I go live here on YouTube or post a new video, so make sure to click that bell. You can also get social with me on my social media links. Those are listed down in the description below. Make sure to go check them out. They include Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and more. Make sure to go check out all of those locations and get social with me. I love hearing from y'all. Don't forget, guys, as my favorite quote says, normal is just a setting on the dryer. Bye.